Sagittarius. What up, doe? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message for the sign of Sagittarius, wherever that resonates at for you and your birth chart. Keep in mind, we all have Sag energy in our chart. We all have a ninth house and time and energy are fluid. So take what resonates here in this reading today and leave the rest for someone else. And these readings are timeless as well. Y'all, so whenever you stumble across this message, there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation, to help empower you, to help you align. Sagittarius tapping into your energy today. I use this um, illuminated Earth Oracle deck along with this Keepers of the Light Oracle deck to help me catch a vibe as I'm connecting with the collective energy. Um, and Sag, <laughs> if, you've been, if you've seen any of the other collective readings over the past couple of weeks, um, then you already know this, but I'm only saying it because your energy is in perfect alignment with the collective energy, with the astrological happenings at this time. And that's the first card to come through for you today. Influence phenomenon. Um, the planets are planeting family and we are being activated. For those of you that have been rocking with me, you've probably heard me speaking about the portal that opened up as Pluto and the sun went into the sign of Aquarius in late January. And the way that I've been channeling this is the portal opened as Pluto and the sun went into the sign of Aquarius. And as we've went through Aquarius season, we have had a lot of energies together in Aquarius, bringing more of this new chapter, this new era online. And as we move into Pisces season, happy Pisces season, by the way, but as we move into Pisces season, we will be um, experiencing a major stellium in Pisces as well. Pisces being the last sign of the Zodiac, you guys, this is bringing the, the, full, the full update online, so to speak. So I've been channeling between March, April, really after Pisces season is over, you guys, it is going to be here. You're going to feel the shift. You're going to know it. For those of you that have um, been participating in our lives and you've done the road opener ceremony and things like that, I know you're seeing this play out real time. I know you're seeing the signs and synchronicities, but this is it. I feel like Pisces season is bringing us through the rest of this portal um, and big shifts happening, you guys. We have the North Node in Aries. We've been knowing that. We've been calling that transit purpose activation, right? Well, now we have um, Chiron pulling up into Aries right next to the North Node conjunct. I think they're like two degrees apart, 16 and 18 degrees, Chiron, North Node, Aries. And so at this time, what I feel is... We've already been dealing with the clearing that's been happening from Pluto and Capricorn since 08, right? Now I feel like with Chiron being conjunct the North Node, these deep core soul wounds uh, surfacing at this time, it's obviously going to manifest differently for all of us. Um, but anything arising at this time, I've just been saying to the collective, sit with it. Um, those who sit with what arises those who sit in and with the shadows at this time are going to be greatly rewarded um chiron is the wounded healer right and for those of you that are light workers which is probably the majority of people here the family the void fam i feel like this is really going to catalyze alignment with your purpose with your destiny with your dharma with your soul's purpose um, and so really important to sit with it right now. I'm seeing the clearing. I'm seeing the transits coming and doing their thing. I'm seeing these obstacles and these lower frequencies being cleared, being um, understood, being healed. And it fe so it feels like major, major ascension. Okay. There's so much going on here. It's like, where do we even start? We have the Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles occur naturally. Spirit has your back. 
We have charity here with prayer and contemplation. Ask and you shall receive. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. We have Ma Kali Ma here with facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Then we have Baba G with soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. And when I say integrating the past, that's another thing where we've made it to the top of the mountain. We're able to see the path that we've taken to get here now. And we are integrating that wisdom and moving from that space, from this higher state of consciousness. Spirit really wanting Sag to know that they have your back here. Call on support. Call on your angels, your ancestors. Call on the divine um at this time and it feels like not only this core wound for a lot of the collective i feel like is definitely some type of generational stuff or familial stuff or even childhood past life stuff so the things that are arising right now you guys very deep this is soul level stuff so with that oh lord shiva on the bottom as well rise up honor your inner force steps are being given dance with the universe so i'm gonna pray real quick sag then we're gonna dive into this message patience patience and positivity holy divine mother and father great spirit spirit guides guardian angels archangels ancestors messages today for my sages for their highest good anything sagittarius needs to hear anything they need to know any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation any messages that will empower them any messages that will bring healing wisdom understanding any messages that will help sagittarius align with their highest selves their highest timelines their best lives and of course above all any messages that will help sagittarius align with divine will will be greatly appreciated all praise and glory forever and ever um, amen. Ashe. What's the theme of Sage's reading today, please, Spirit? What's the theme of Sage's reading? So much clarity, understanding. High Priestess with the hanged man both piscean energies you guys happy pisces season this is very very deep the, there is no veil right now for sagittarius you are directly plugged into the divine and what i feel like is again this is that middle ground this is that in between time where you are truly gaining a completely different a new understanding of your soul your journey your life your past your future this hanged man, I always say, if you can think of this as, you know, our own soul or our own spirit or higher self that that places us here upside down in this position, situation, relationship, etc. In order to gain a new perspective, a different perspective, in order to evolve, in order to ascend on our journey, on our soul's journey to enlightenment, right? And so you see through hanging down and gaining this new perspective, um, this person has this illumination behind them representing enlightenment, right? And it's because this person has hung upside down and has seen everything in a completely different um, way and is now able to take that and move from that space. Things aren't the way that I had thought, right? Sometimes we have to see things from a different point of view. And that's kind of what it seems. It, it almost feels like there's a lot going on for you internally right now, Sagittarius. Healing, understanding, integration, um, your psychic gifts and abilities, your intuition on 10 right now, your abilities being activated, being cultivated, solidified. So what do we have here going on for Sagittarius right now, Spirit? What do we have at the heart of Sage's situation? We have the undoing. We have the last step at the heart of Sag's situation. Yep, yep, yep. Tower Chariot, you guys. There's forward movement. You are moving on. 
you're truly moving into a completely new chapter of your life, Sagittarius, walking away from anything, anyone, any situation that is not serving you or your soul's purpose or your highest good at this time. What are you building? What did your soul come here to build? It feels like, you know, um, after everything you've been through, you really are moving from this higher state of consciousness in the div and also solidifying your own connection with the divine. And now you're moving from a completely different space, Sagittarius, and the divine is guiding you step by step toward your victory. The five or the six of swords here says that the worst of the storm is over and the waters are calming now. It's really a card of getting yourself together and trusting and following spirit at this time. Same with the chariot where you see the charioteer has no reins. He's in there. He's holding on. He's trusting that these guides are going to get him to where he needs to go successfully. Eight of wands tower moving away, moving away major transformation a lot has changed things have crumbled things have ended I'm just seeing you standing amidst the rubble what's the challenge for sagittarius right now spirit the challenge feels like moving into this new chapter through this strife through this bs turbulence the challenge really seems to be it's almost like, Sag, you're being set free. The challenge seems to be, one of the biggest challenges I see here is trusting the divine, trusting the universe. Things may, things may look a little crazy right now. It may not be easy to just trust that everything's working out for you or happening for you. I would say that too with the hanged man. How can we see, how can we see the situations in our lives as it happening for us rather than something that happened to us right nine of wands fool temperance patience and trust i feel like sag has really been through so much here um some of you have probably felt like giving up some of you have probably felt like throwing in the towel but with this nine of wands the divine is saying don't give up we're so damn close um, this is the Wounded Warrior card here. This is also about setting healthy boundaries and, uh, you know, not giving your energy to every and anything. Yeah, Spirit says it's time for, for a new chapter. Ace of Wands, Page of Pence. Let's see what we have incoming for Sagittarius. Two of Swords fell out. Maybe some of you are having a hard time making a decision here. Some of you are faced with a pretty difficult decision right now. Leaving this chapter behind, however that looks for you. Maybe some of you are feeling blocked or stuck. What's incoming for Sag? We have some type of karmic contract, justice and devil. What is this? Some type of toxic, toxic contract, some type of toxic person or toxic situation. Lying, cheating, stealing, betrayal, pain, trauma. This, wow, you guys, someone maybe, there's like a past life relationship coming through where there's pen major betrayal for some of you maybe it's a marriage or a job for some of you it might even be like a church or something like that what is what is this devil justice nine of pence some of you guys it's definitely a romantic relationship what is this incoming spirit what is this for, for some of you it's a family member yeah whoa it feels like somebody's taking their power back. Some of you guys, it's actually your child or parent. So there, and I'm just going to say, cause it's coming through in so many different ways. There's something that's, there's a situation or relationship that's really close to your heart that I feel like is being worked through or moved on, moved away from. 
to some degree there's there ha there needs to be healing here there's been a lot of hurt there's been a lot of hurt eight of eight of cups king of swords leaving something behind maybe making a, a difficult decision maybe taking that sword and, and cutting a cord or, or setting yourself free speaking your truth maybe somebody's mad at you for living your truth what what is this okay what's the advice you guys this is this is crazy I see it's causing a lot of turbulence, even if it's just energetic or spiritual tur turbulence. Excuse me. What's the advice for Sag? I feel like somebody's got their eye on you, Sagittarius. Devil, justice. This is some type of karmic contract or cycle. I feel like There's this message here, Sag, where the spirits like keep going, your hard work, your perseverance, your strength is going to pay off in a big way. What is the advice for Sagittarius? Three of Swords Hanged Man. How can we see how can we see this pain or this trauma or this hurt differently? How can we look at this as something that our souls signed up for in order to grow or evolve through what are we taking from this ultimately what are we learning what are we leaving behind from this are we holding on to any hatred resentment anger fear sadness are we holding on to an old story that is not um beneficial for the new story we're writing Picture your old, this last chapter as a book. We're, we've closed the book. We've closed the book. But this book is giving off a frequency. Just picture this in your mind, right? This is just a, an example, an analogy. This book from our last chapter that is closed and done with now is emitting this frequency. And you're here writing a new book. It's a book, blank pages. Everything that we do, these books, our actions, our words, our thoughts, they all emit a frequency. What frequency is this new book that we're writing emitting? And is there anything from this old book that could be messing with the frequency of this new book? Are you trying to put old pages here in the new book? And I hope this makes sense because I'm just trying to make it make sense just generally speaking. Are we trying to fit any of those old pages in this new book? Or what pages from this old book would, would benefit this new book? That's a better way to think of it, right? Because there are maybe some stories, some stuff you want to take from that old book. But not all of it. This is that in-between time where we're really f figuring that out and understanding that. Ten of Wands, though, Spirit saying we need to lighten our load energetically a little bit. Right? There's an opportunity here to really move toward happiness, um, family, togetherness, fulfillment, um, abundance. There's a lot of a lot going on. What's strength? Advice. Strength. Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, though, is about speaking your truth. It's about moving forward. It's about moving into something that has potential. Um, where attention goes, energy flows. So this is, the, in your advice, the divine is saying that you are the magician Sagittarius. Your thoughts, your words, your frequency is extremely powerful right now. Abracadabra, I create as I speak. Right now, every thought that's happening internally and every word that you speak externally is manifesting at the speed of light. So where is our mind at? Is it back here on the spilled cups? The things that didn't go right, the breakups, the betrayals, the sadness, the BS from the past, um, the situations we had to leave behind. Is that what we're focusing on right now? Or is it 
the two full cups in our life, the love that we do have, the support that we do have, the friends and family that we do have, um, the little blessings that we do have, the air in our lungs that we do have, right? There is a message coming through for Sagittarius about really being mindful of where your mind is at now and not forgetting how much work you've done and how far you've truly come. You're, um, you're, you're stepping into a new world and this is so full of opportunity. You guys, don't let the past drag you down. Don't let these negative, toxic, fucking karmic cycles, people, situations pull you under. You're destined for greatness. You're destined for great things here, Sagittarius. And I feel like you're, you are taking control of your own life here and you are creating the life that you would like to live in. Strength. Sagittarius, strength, strength, strength. Connect with your heart space. Um, judgment. This is a this is a deep awakening for you and a major, major soul healing. Um, no, Spirit saying not to make d decisions from a place of fear right now, from a place of lack from a place of scarcity, from a place of insecurities, making your decisions from a place of this is the facts, this is what it is, this is what spirit is guiding me to do, and that's that. Um, no emotions are getting in the way of my decisions. No fear is getting in the way of my decisions. Nobody else's opinions are getting in the way of my decisions. I'm doing what I need to do, and I am releasing to receive. I am following my higher guidance, my angels, my ancestors, my intuition to my best life. After the Eight of Cups comes the Nine of Cups, family. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. Eight of Cups is we have to leave behind anything that does not serve us in order to free up space to receive that wish fulfillment. Everything happens in cycles and um, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. I have no idea why that just came through. But with you coming through as high priestess twice in this reading, you're very, very connected. You're very plugged in right now. Follow and trust. Honor your intuition at this time, family. Um, and let the dead bury their dead. This is a rebirth for Sagittarius, you guys. This is a major rebirth for Sag. Be still and know. Be still and know. And I see you whipping it up, Sag. I see you turning any darkness into light. I see you making those demons your bitch and using them for your own growth and ascension, prosperity, abundance, love. Family, you've come so far. You are the one your ancestors were waiting on. You are an enlightened being on the path. Let nothing stop you, Sag. Let's grab some oracle cards, family. Beautiful sun shining out here today. What's the message for Sag, please, spirit? Where are we at on time? The message for Sag. Y'all. So we have the netcaster. Peep this message. Peep this message stop the stop the video see what this card says to you take it in soak it in what does this card this is the net caster what do you feel when you see this image what downloads do you get what visions clear audience downloads what feelings what emotions what does this card say to you this is your message sagittarius it's been so interesting hearing y'all downloads. Thank you all who have taken the time to to drop them in the comments. Thank you all for taking the time to smash that thumbs up, to watch, to be here for my ghost watchers. Y'all know I appreciate and love y'all. Okay. Preparations come to fruition. A surprise or a result beyond expectations. The netcaster arrives to tell you to stop praying for the fish. They have arrived, and it's time that you cast your net, lest they swim away, swim away, swim away. Everything that you long for is within reach, but it's been so long since your prayers were answered that you've forgotten how to receive what is being offered to you. Put down the prayer beads and open up your arms and heart to rewards beyond measure. Cast your 
net Sagittarius. Take the next step that you've been planning for so long and remember that the fish wait for no one. So time is of the essence. Heaven and earth are in perfect alignment for your victory. The stars are positioned for success. The only one who can spoil the perfection of this moment is you. And if you ask, do I really deserve this? You'll sabotage the magic and shatter the crystalline flawlessness of the now. The netcaster can also arrive to bring you bad news and to tell you that you've been snared in someone's trap and must wriggle free. Right now, it feels comfortable enough even as the net begins to tighten around you. Do not wait until it's suff suffocating you before realizing you must escape and run for your life. It's still early enough to exit gracefully. Spirit wants me to repeat that. It is still early enough to exit gracefully. Bide your time until all the conditions are right. Go to your place of stillness, of deep quiet, and watch for the signs that a new opportunity has arrived. Right now, you're patient because you feel that things will go your way. Learn to be patient with the people in situations that are a bit more challenging. Let's grab a message from this white light oracle. Sorry about that, y'all. It's the message spirit for Sag today. Sagittarius, I hope you're able to take something from this message. I hope it resonated for you. I hope it made sense. I hope it helped in some capacity. For those of you that are going through this, it really is like congratulations. You're truly ascending in a big way. A lot going on, so I feel y'all. I see y'all. Shadow boxing. What's the message for Sag? Shakti pot of the sea seahorse. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna try to grab more. So just I'm gonna grab one. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do this again. So one comes out. There's like five cards that wanted to come through. That's why I be doing that because I want to make sure the message that needs to be heard is heard. Um, it's that sacrament of extreme unction, number thirty-four. Your heart knows how to let go so that you can find peace. It's time for you to experience spiritual closure. A beautiful new reality is opening up for you. Entering it requires you to release your attachment to the past. You've been inwardly preparing for a powerful rebirth. Now is the time to trust in what is meant for you and move toward it with an open, trusting heart and peaceful mind. In an ideal world, we would finish our inner work be completely healed and check it off the list and move on without any issues from the past intruding into our present life. In a more realistic view, we do our best to muddle through, gaining enough understanding and healing to attain some degree of closure and move on as best we can, flicking off remnants of the past which can arise, even whilst we are doing our best to let go. And an even more challenging turn of growth turn of our growth spiral we may know something has run its course and no longer belongs in our world and yet we have trouble exercising the past and its pains confusions or attachments so it bleeds through into the present even though we know it doesn't belong there <clears throat> To avoid the taint of the past causing unnecessary issues in the present, the oracle of the sacrament of extreme unction brings powerful spiritual last rites so you can be cleansed and liberated into the fullness of your next phase. Sheesh! So you can be cleansed and liberated into the fullness of your next phase. In the Catholic tradition, extreme unctions performed at the time of physical passing to cleanse the soul and allow it to gracefully leave the body and enter the afterlife. In the context of this oracle, the symbolic equivalent of this sacrament is the powerful intervention of spirit to free you from the grip of what has been. It is a liberation from habit and the compelling lure of the familiar. It is the divine forgiveness and healing. 
extreme unction translates into last anointing whilst spiritual grace will be with you always and blessing is always available to the receptive heart this oracle wishes to bring you to bring to your attention the ending of a particular stubborn pattern as it does you'll feel greater freedom and a new lease on life as if you're being born again within this lifetime it augurs significant and permanent healing release as the expression goes, every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. This oracle encourages you to embrace your future and let go of the emotional and psychological burdens you've been carrying for yourself and likely for many others, ancestors, and more for far too long. Sometimes we martyr ourselves to the pain of the past or even attempt to carry the suffering of others holding it within our hearts as if it as if that can alleviate the burden of another or create healing all that happens in such instances is that suffering increases let yourself off the hook of guilt shame or blame give yourself permission to acknowledge that all people including you have done their best the universe is offering you a powerful spiritual gift your heart knows how to receive it let go there's no turning back it is time to start anew it is your time to be happy and free, Sage. For this healing process, I'm going to run through this really quick for those of you who would like to connect with this. Um, imagine, feel, see, or intend that you're resting within an egg of pure white light. It feels so beautiful, safe, and somehow ancient, familiar, and grounding to be in this egg of light. Allow it to be the right size for you large enough to feel the space spacious and close enough to feel the supported to feel supported and held as you rest it within this spiritual egg of light you may see sense hear feel or recognize at a deep level that sacred words and loving prayers are being said for you these prayers come from the hearts minds and voices of luminous enlightened higher beings who love you and are looking out for you these words of blessing permeate the shell of your sacred egg of light they gently infuse the space in the form of white light, which holds all of the colors and sacred sounds. They ever so gently, gently touch the top of your head, your eyes, ears, nostrils, lips, heart, throat, hands, genitals, base of the spine, and feet. You experience tenderness, unconditional love, peace, and merciful grace tending to you at an intimate and caring level. Within this egg of light, you can heal. You may see, sense, feel, or recognize that negative energy is expelled from all levels of your being, ejected out of the porous shell of the egg and toward the loving higher beings who know what is needed for such energies to be healed. As you no longer carry these energies, you feel increasingly free. Any shackles around your soul will fall away, becoming nothing more than dust before disappearing. You sense the seeds of negative karma being cleansed and dissolving in the light. Rest here for as long as you wish. You are blessed and ready to begin new. When you're ready, slowly and firmly bring yourself back into the here and now by following the flow of your breath and becoming aware of any sensations on your skin. Ground and hydrate yourself, and you have completed this healing process. What a message today, you guys. Um, like I said, with Chiron conjunct the North Node, this is, for, for some of the collective, there is some extremely deep healing taking place at this time like i said this is almost like when you break a bone and they have to fix it right they have to kind of like crack it back into place this is that where it's like it's it, it's gonna hurt a little bit right but it's going to make everything so much better it's gonna make everything heal up right right um so like I said, don't run from it, family. Sit with it. Be with it. Talk to God about it. Talk to the divine. Talk to your ancestors. Um, I'd say at this time as well, it's an excellent time to set out a little offering, a glass of water, a candle, incense, something like that for your ancestors and your spirit guides. Um, it's, it's, it's spiritual crunch time for real family. So I hope everybody's doing well out there. I hope everybody's straight. 
Hope everybody's keeping their head up. Um, let's grab a couple of these Moonology cards and we'll grab a message from Ma before we tap out. Sag, again, thank y'all so much for being in this space, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. It's a message for Sag. What do you need to release? That's it. Have faith in your dreams. Conclusions are within reach. Show the world the real you. A new romantic cycle begins. Nothing's yet set in stone. Luck is on your side. Have faith in your dreams. What do you need to release? Conclusions are within reach. Fam. Divine Mother, what is the message for my beautiful sages? This is the Kali Oracle. We used the White Light Oracle, the Shaman's Dream Oracle. The two decks at the very beginning was the Illuminated Earth and the uh, Keepers of the Light Oracle decks. Um, and I was just using a regular vintage Rider Waite deck for this reading. Along with this double major. Divine Mother, what's the message for Sagittarius, please? Looks like we just get him. Looks like she's going to throw one more out at the last second. Blue Tara. Chaos will give way to the higher order of love. Let there be peace in your heart. As Blue Tara looks to her right, gazing toward the future, she sees a vision of your peaceful, protected, and authentically ex expressive future. You have every right to feel hopeful and happy and secure in the destiny that is now unfolding for you. And we have Goya Kali as well. It is time to realize the true nature of certain life circumstances. Be grateful for what you've learned, but see things for what they are rather than what you wish them to be. You shall be able to recognize, process, and prosper from the truth, and you do not need to fear the revelations that are unfolding. Listen to your spirit. A process of profound and enduring transformation is leading you toward a powerful rebirth, free from even the most persistent patterns or pains of your past your souls in deep healing recovery can be painful but you will emerge renewed and released you're blessed to experience a new life within this lifetime sagittarius gang gang big facts again i hope this message resonated family i hope it's found everybody well um i hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day before we tap out fully we're going to take this deep cleansing breath Y'all thought, thought I was going to forget this time, huh? Um, we're going to use our will, our visualization, our intention to draw in this divine cosmic energy. Picture it as white or gold light, filling your body, filling your aura. Pause, hold the breath at the top. Imagine yourself glowing as bright as you possibly can. And then as we release, we're going to exhale forcefully as we can, very powerfully watching any negativity, any sadness, any anger, any resentment, any doubt any fear, any anxiety, any blockages or lower frequencies whatsoever. We're going to watch all of that in the form of like black or gray smoke or static leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that. So first things first, Sagittarius, take a deep full breath out, empty your lungs fully, and then we'll get this breath in. Go ahead and breathe out. Breathe in. Hold it. Squeeze, move a bundle. Lift that energy up your spine. Now pull it down. Lock it into your heart space. Watch yourself glowing as bright as you can. And. Sagittarius, I'll catch you beautiful beings on the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you.